Welcome back to Creativity Saturday, uh, or welcome if it's your first time here. I had a bit of a cool, funky week. So instead of doing one specific project just to show you today, I thought I would take you through my week and my process prepping for an audition class I'm taking tonight. What we're doing today is I'm going to show you kind of how I break down a scene and how I memorize my lines in the process of prepping for an audition or for a class. I am not doing this as like a master class. I'm not trying to teach you how to act. Um, if you are an actor and you're watching this, I feel you. This is what I do, just a glimpse into my process. I would love to hear about your process because I think everyone's is a little different. So here's me prepping a scene for an audition or for a class. Take a look. So step one in my process of prepping a scene for an audition or a class is uh, to read it and go through and pick out my given circumstances, some adjectives to describe the character, some verbs for the scene, and kind of parse through for subtext within the lines or questions I have about certain lines. So this is the scene I'm working on for class. You'll see over here I have like the adjectives about the character, I have my verbs for the scene, I have my given circumstances over here, and then everything's highlighted. I usually do this by hand and print it out, but I go through and I make notes and I write about subtext and do all of the fun things like that. Alrighty, step two in the process of getting a scene ready for a audition, class, whatever it is you're working on, I happen to be working for a class, um, is memorizing. So I have taken all my notes, I've gotten all my adjectives and verbs and given circumstances and questions about subtext and all that fun stuff, gotten all of that on my pages, on my side. And now I go through and I've highlighted all my lines and I just read, I do something, I don't know if everyone else says this, I read the whole scene, I don't just read my lines, I read the whole scene and when I get to my line, I say it like three or four times and then I keep reading the scene so I know the whole context of the scene and know my cues, not just my lines. So I'm not just saying my lines in order. I can know the whole scene and the whole conversation. That's just me. I know a lot of people who do it differently and they're also amazing actors and do great work. So it's really different for everybody. Step three is where the fun stuff can happen because this is where I start making choices. I start, now that it's memorized, that can be more conversational. And so I can start running through in a more conversational tone and kind of finding the voice, my voice within the character um, and making some choices about this person within the situation. And that's the fun part. Um, I hope you found that interesting. I hope you found that enjoyable if you are an actor and I hope you found it helpful and insightful. Like I said, let me know your tips and tricks. I want to know. I'm always a student. I love learning from all kinds of people. Also, if you can think of a better title for this segment posting thing than Creativity Saturday, let me know. Titles are not my jam. So give them to me your ideas, comments, message me, whatever. Let's call this something more fun than Creativity Saturday. I hope you enjoy your Saturday. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you next week. Bye guys.